Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Hi, thanks for tuning in to Armor of God again. This video isn't going to be very long. While I was researching for the next video that I'm going to release next week, I came across this video of a Buddhist monk, basically explaining his views on demons. And the only reason I brought this up is because we've heard a lot of people who are somehow interested to spend months or years in their monasteries, living like the monks and practicing Buddhism as well. And as I've done this for close to two years now, I will always counter this kind of information from a Catholic point of view, and we've also listened to a lot of priests warning us about this as well. I've done this with yoga before, so I thought I'm going to share it from the source, what they think of demons and how to deal with the demons. Because sometimes some people write in the comments saying that the priests are just assuming and saying things without any basis. Well, listen carefully here. Bear in mind, though, that this isn't in English, so hopefully the subtitle I've provided here, you can read them clearly. Please pause if you think it's too fast. <laughs> Now 所以变观音不做朋友没办法嫉妒的你跟他有隔阂所以要先广结善缘要合作然后再来再说各宗教也是这样的所以有几个情况因为他有神通嘛你是什么能量他会知道的他越高的境界他在比较低层的他的神通力有限的他会
the ticket of his sister who became ill. So I went with him, and there I experienced things that were unusual, you know. And uh, within a month after having gone to Medjugorje, I changed my path in life. I had left the medical studies and entered the seminary and never left because of Medjugorje. Now, I went back four times since, and I did experience personally an apparition when Ivan was sitting, there, kneeling, when the Blessed Mother appeared, I was beside him. And I did see the blue aura appear and disappear. Now, I also saw on Mount Krizhevats the cross on fire. And to try to debunk it, since I was in a group with pilgrims, which the church allows, which is another good sign, the church allows pilgrims now to go to Medjugorje and priests to guide these pilgrims, um, I had a group of about four young men go up while I, with some others, stayed down to see if they went up while we're looking at the cross on fire, if it is on fire. So they go up and there's no flame. While we're looking at it, it's on fire, and they're looking at it, there's no flame. That's another one of these phenomena that's hard to explain. And the list goes on, the spinning suns and things like that that occur there. Now, certainly I understand the reserve people have because in the early years of Medjugorje, you know, the, the children would go to church and they would be dressed with like short sleeves and things like that that were offensive to some of the people because of the dress codes that they're not accustomed to. And then um, there were some things that happened um, outside of the seers, just in the area with the priest and a nun. And, but that doesn't have anything to do with the messages nor the apparitions. Speaking as a theologian in mystical and dogmatic theology, and having been asked by bishops to review the causes of candidates for canonization who had mystical experiences, I can assert without any hesitation and with objectivity that Medjugorje is of divine origin. Now, I'm not in a, a position of authority to make that an official statement. Only the Pope is. The Church is um, the castry for the causes of saints came out with a new updated version of declaring things supernatural. Only the Pope now has that authority. But as a theologian, I can say that it has all the characteristics about Gavandal, you know. And the church has not condemned Medjugorje, it's not condemned Gavandal either. But uh, yeah, that's my theological position. Well then, that will be all for the video this time. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us and hopefully you've learned something from this video. Remember, if there's any feedback or suggestion, please let us know in the comments below. Anyway, if you like what we do and you'd like to support us, I left a link to our PayPal donation in the description box below, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your continuous support, contributions, and prayers. And until the next one, thanks again for watching and may God bless you.